Keeping kids safe on the Internet, a new effort is underway to stop registered sex offenders from preying on children on social networking sites. Welcome back. I'm Ellen Leva. And David Ono, this is Abedis News at 4.30. More and more sexual predators are using sites like Facebook and MySpace to lure their victims. Abedis News Orange County Bureau Chief Eileen Frere is live in Santa Ana with details on the latest effort to keep kids safe. Eileen. And David, authorities say that California has the highest population of registered sex offenders in the country. And this legislation, authorities are hoping, will help protect children from online predators. Authorities hope it will be the newest tool to keep sex offenders off of social networking websites. Our children go there as a place where they will make new friends. They go there to play. Police and legislative leaders calling for the passage of the Child Cyber Safety Act. It comes in the wake of the arrest of Matthew Castaneda, a 33-year-old suspected child rapist. Police allege he met a 12-year-old girl on MySpace.com, then lured her to an Anaheim motel near Disneyland where he assaulted her last month. Studies show one in five children who go on computer chat rooms have been approached over the Internet by pedophiles. Most have never told their parents. Currently, there is no legislation to stop predators from, from preying on our children on the Internet. If the legislation passes, it would make it a crime for registered sex offenders to go on social websites. Violators would face jail or prison time. Some, however, wonder how it can be enforced. Much of our strategy would be that we would be online uh, uh, either posing as children to catch the people uh, or working somehow, making sure that we're not doing it after the fact. We want to be as proactive as possible. Sponsors of the bill admit it is still in its early stages, but say it's a step in the right direction. When we open that laptop, we are virtually opening the front door of our home for the world to come in. But let's shut that door to proven predators. And again, that bill is in its very early stages. The exact details on the penalties are still being worked out, but one assembly member who introduced the bill said that violators could face up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. Reporting live from Santa Ana, Eileen Frere, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Eileen,